Have you always wanted to make your own pencil skirt? Well, today we're going to draft a pencil skirt. Hi, I'm Christina, and I love to digitally apparel pattern in Adobe Illustrator, creating those fun and unique pieces. And today we're gonna create a pencil skirt. It is a predecessor for another fun, stylish skirt that we'll be making on another stylish skirt Saturday. So without any further ado, Let's bring up Illustrator and get this stylish skirt made. Now pencil skirts are a fun and quick process if you already have your basic block built. I uh, have a video, check it out up here, if you want to hand draft your own skirt block so that you can then create your own pencil skirt. The other thing that you always have to be careful with with pencil skirts is you want to make sure that you actually can walk in them. So you either will want to put a kick pleat in the back or you want to make sure that you're not taking it in so much at your knees that you will not be able to take a step. With that said, I'm going to move on and start patterning. So I have my little inspiration photo right here and I'm just going to be adding a little bit of take in right at the knees. I am going to zoom in, too far, zoom on too far, and I'm just going to move them just a little bit apart so I have a little bit more room to breathe with it. Now you want to make sure you know the length of your hem first off. So I decide to keep my uh, half scale basically at a five. Uh, five and a half inches down from the hip line. Then all we're going to do is I'm going to draft a line here. Go one at 90. We are working on half scale and that's why that is giant. <laughs> I didn't think about that. But that's okay. It'll still work perfectly for this notch maker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it over one inch. I'm going to hit OK. And that actually might even be a little much for a half scale. Let's check and see how much that um, is taking it in. 3.75. So basically no, I'm going to call that okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the outside and then I'm going to add an anchor point right at that notch and then I'm going to subtract that anchor point there and bam, my pencil skirt has started. Now I'll probably want to go back and just even that out just a little bit and even possibly pull that down just a smidge. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to curve that guy, pull one handle all the way in and get the other handle going straight up and down. So I have that nice 90 degree curve at my hem. Then I'm going to move this guy over to the to my back piece and I'm going to do the exact same thing so I'm going to move it negative one zero and then I'm going to highlight my skirt pattern and add an anchor point then I'm going to take away that anchor point there it goes and then I'm going to adjust my handles just a little bit take one in and bring the other one, whoops, come on, you can grab it, I believe in you, there we go, bring the other one in just a little bit like that. That'll give my, that might have a little bit too much curve on the hips for the half scale, but I'm going to leave it and see what it does in the actual, when I actually sew it and fit it. So then the next thing I also want to do is I'm going to draft another line. Oops, 0.5 at zero. Let's make sure that's actually where I want it to be. Right on that line. 
and I'm going to give myself a two and a half inch kick pleat in the back. So I'm going to move it up uh, 2.5. Oh, wait, that's horizontal. My bad. Hold on. Zero and then negative 2.5. There we go. And that's going to be where the top of my kick pleat is. And I'm just going to, that'll just be a notch because I'm not going to do anything too special with that kick pleat. I'm just going to have it be there. Then the last and final thing is I need a waistband for this pattern. So I'm again going to do a, I'll do a three quarter, a, uh, yeah, three quarters inch on the double. So an inch and a half by 13.75. Uh, and I definitely wanted to uh, <laughs> draft that the other way, but that's okay. There we go. And I'm also going to throw my uh, 13.75. I'm going to put a line there. We're going to make sure that it is centered. And then I'm going to make it a dashed line. So I know that is my fold. And there it is. That is how fast and easy you can draft a pencil skirt in Adobe Illustrator. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you can follow along as we draft some other fun stylish skirts on Saturdays. If you're interested in getting the half scale, I will link a I will link it in the description down below, so definitely check it out as well as my common key commands that I use all the time while I am pattern drafting in Illustrator. It is how I can get patterning so quickly and pulling up those tools without having to search on those sidebars. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in some of my other stylish skirts videos. Happy patterning!